Hi and welcome to Academic Compliance Academy of Law and Economics. So in this video I'm going to talk about the cost theorem when we have transaction costs. So we have to remember that Coase did not formulate the theorem himself. So there's been a lot of authors trying to stipulate and arrange, formulate this th Coase theorem in different versions. So there might be some divergence in the actual terminology. The terminology I'm going to use here is from Kuta and Ulin and Ida and Stavang. So let's look at it. First, we will have to look at the Coase theorem without any transaction cost. So here, the Coase theorem stipulates that when transaction costs are zero, an efficient use of resource results from private bargaining regardless of the legal assignment of property rights. Or in another version, when property rights are well defined and transaction costs are zero, private parties will bargain a Pareto optimal efficient result regardless of the legal assignment of rights. So here the focus is that transaction cost equals zero, which means that we can bargain to private parties without having any cost. When it comes to reality, this is one of the things that was critique points on the quotient theorem is that when do we actually have zero transaction cost. Therefore, these authors stipulated another version where we do have transaction cost. So now we are in the range between zero transaction cost and when they are too high. So let's look at these versions. So the first one from Kuta and Olin. When transaction costs are high enough to prevent bargaining, the efficient use of resources will depend on how property rights are assigned. Okay, so if we have transaction costs and they are too high to result in just a private bargaining, then property rights will have an effect. Another version here is Aydin Saban, and they stipulate that when transaction costs are high enough to prevent private bargaining, the use of resources will be Pareto efficient if the rights are allocated in accordance to the result of bargaining um, would have led to without transaction cost. So they're not total congruence between these two, but let's put up um, the model from Kuta and Ulin. So they say that we have kind of a continuum from low to high transaction cost. And at some point, bargaining fails due to too high transaction cost. And at that point, well, legal rights matter to efficiency and we must have put the legal rights in such a way that it still enforces the best solution for the private parties. So when we have Coase theorem in this version with transaction cost, we acknowledge the appearance of transaction cost and we can see that still if there are low transaction costs, private bargaining can still arrange to the most efficient result, the most Pareto optimal result. But at some point, the cost over exceeds the actual bargaining and there we must, as regulator, try to set aside the question of transaction costs and try to focus on, okay, without the actual transaction cost, that it could be negotiation costs. What would the parties arrange? What would secure the most efficient result? And hence that analysis, we can divide or give property rights or given rights to each party. So we have to remember that some of these um, theorems do have some problems and especially when we talk about transaction cost. Now we acknowledge transaction cost, which means that we might have other problems still uh, that has been liberated in the critiques on codes. And one of those are the assignment problem, who should get which right. And because it also depends on what are the transaction costs we're uh, analyzing. Are they just negotiation costs or are there something else interfering in, in the total cost? Then we have the holdout problem, which if we have shared ownership rights, how should we allocate them then? Another is the free rider problem. 
And the last one is the transaction cost with negotiation problem. So there are critique points on codes, but when we include transaction cost in this kind of weak version of the Cauchy theorem, then we can analyze it more freely. And of course, make sure that the transaction cost should still be in the lower range, because if they become too high, then they will prevent private bargaining. And rights allocation will be important. And we must see that we might even go for a Pergovian approach instead of just relying on cost and private bargaining. So this was just a short video on the Cauchy theorem when we have transaction cost. Make sure that they don't get too high if private bargaining must succeed. So stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and let's talk much more about law and economics.